Hi, I am Shruti. Welcome to Shruti's Pharma World. Today, I am going to tell you one interesting topic that is molecular distillation. Stay with me till the end of this video to understand the principle, construction and working of molecular distillation assembly. Before enter into the core of the topic, you should understand what is mean free path. Because uh, this term is very much used in molecular distillation. Actually, mean free path is the average distance traveled by a molecule without any intermolecular collision. Is it clear? Mean free path is defined as the average distance through which a molecule can travel without any intermolecular collision. Now, let's see the definition of molecular distillation. Molecular distillation is defined as a distillation process in which each molecule in the vapor phase travels mean free path and get condensed individually without intermolecular collisions on application of vacuum. Now I am going to simplify this definition. Okay. By applying vacuum, we can increase the intermolecular distance between each molecule which is present in the vapor phase. So, the chances of collision will be decreases. These molecules can travel their mean free path and it can enter the condenser without collision. From the condenser, these molecules undergo condensation. They individually condensed and we can collect the distillate from the condenser into a receiver. This is simply molecular distillation. Here you can see the uh, definition of mean free path. Mean free path of a molecule is defined as the average distance through which a molecule can move without coming into collision with another. Mean free path simply what is, what is that? Mean free path is the average distance travelled by a molecule without any intermolecular collision. Okay. And here you can see a formula to determine the mean free path. Lambda is a symbol that is used to represent mean free path. Lambda equal to eta root of 3 divided by P rho. Here P stands for vapor pressure. Rho stands for density, eta stands for viscosity and lambda represent our mean free path. Okay, so this equation is used to determine the mean free path. Actually, mean free path is the average distance traveled by a molecule without any intermolecular collision. Based on the method of formation of liquid film, the apparatus is divided into two types. The first one is falling film molecular steel. It is otherwise known as wiped film molecular steel. And the second one is centrifugal molecular steel. The representative falling film molecular distillation assembly. Now let's talk about the construction of a falling film molecular distillation assembly. It consists of a jacketed vessel. It consists of a jacketed vessel. This jacket is mainly for providing heat to the material which is present inside the vessel. Adjacent to the evaporating surface of the vessel, wipers are placed. This wiper is connected to a rotor. This rotor helps to rotate the wiper inside the vessel. This rotor mainly helps to rotate the wiper inside the vessel. And here you can see a condenser. This condenser is placed very adjacent to the evaporating surface. The distance between the condenser and the evaporating surface is very less. And inside the vessel you can see a long pipe. Vacuum pump is connected to this pipe. And here you can see a feed inlet and a product outlet and also a residue outlet feed inlet for introducing feed into the vessel and this product outlet for collecting distillate from the condenser into a receiver residue outlet for collecting undistilled material from the vessel 
into another container okay these are the important parts that is present in a falling film molecular steel are you following i repeat the falling film molecular distillation assembly consists of a jacketed vessel okay falling film molecular distillation assembly consists of a jacketed vessel this jacket is for providing heat to the material which is present inside the vessel adjacent to the evaporating surface of the vessel wipers are placed adjacent to the evaporating surface wipers are placed this wipers are connected to rotor this rotor helps to rotate the wiper inside the vessel and another important part of falling film molecular distillation uh, assembly is a condenser okay Con condenser is another important part which is present very adjacent very near to the evaporating surface inside the vessel there will be a long pipe this long pipe is connected to a vacuum pump and the assembly also consists of a feed inlet product outlet and a residue outlet feed inlet for introducing feed into the vessel and product outlet for collecting the distillate from the condenser into another receiver and residue outlet for collecting undistilled undistilled residue undistilled material from the vessel into another move on to the procedure or working of falling film molecular distillation assembly first of all the vessel is heated by means of suitable heating mechanism here you can see jacket with the help of jacket heat is supplied to the material which is present inside the vessel vacuum is supplied at the center of the vessel then wipers allow to rotate the wipers which is present inside the vessel actually this wipers are very adjacent to the evaporating surface this wipers are allowed to rotate with the help of a rotor feed is introduced through the feed inlet into the vessel as the liquid flows down the walls it spreads to form a film with the help of wiper okay as the liquid flows down the wall it spreads to form a film on the evaporating surface with the help of this beautiful wipers as i already told you the evaporating surface is previously heated because of that liquid from the film can evaporate easily the liquid that can easily converted into vapor so the vapor uh, then uh, travel its mean free path and then it enter into the condenser from the condenser condensation occurs the vapor molecules individually condensed and distillate is produced that distillate collected through the product outlet into a receiver the undistilled material which is present inside the vessel is collected through a residue outlet and again it recirculated through the feed port for further distillation this is a simple procedure that is involved in falling film molecular distillation assembly are you following guys look at this figure actually uh, this is our centrifugal molecular steel is it beautiful now move on to the construction part it consists of a bucket shaped vessel this green color indicate our bucket shaped vessel and it is having 1 to 1.5 meter diameter and this bucket is connected to a motor and with the help of this motor this bucket is rotated at high speed here radiant heaters are used this red color indicate our radiant heaters with the help of this radiant heaters heat is supplied to the material which is present inside the bucket this radiant heaters are connected externally with the help of this radiant heaters heat is provided to the material which is present inside the bucket shaped vessel and this bucket shaped vessel is having 1 to 1.5 meter diameter condenser is arranged very close to the evaporating surface 
and a vacuum pump is connected to the end air vessel at the top there will be provision for introducing feed into the center of the bucket and also provision for collecting the distillate and uh, the residue so these are the important uh, parts that is present uh, in a centrifugal molecular distillation assembly i repeat it consists of a bucket shaped vessel which is having 1 to 1.5 meter diameter and you can see uh, the bucket shaped vessel here in green color and this bucket is connected to a motor which is rotated at high speed with the help of this motor and a radiant heater connected externally here we are using radiant heaters and this radiant heater is connected externally with the help of the heaters heat is provided to the material which is present inside the bucket condenser is also there and the condenser is placed very close to the evaporating surface the end air vessel is connected to a vacuum pump vacuum uh, pump is present at the top of the vessel you can see that in in this figure the end air vessel is connected to vacuum pump at the top and here you can see the provision for uh, feed introduction feed is introduced through the feed inlet uh, at the center of the bucket and uh, there will be provision for collecting the distillate and the residue so these are the important things that is present uh, in a molecular distillation assembly construction and operation are more complicated as compared to falling film molecular steel the construction and operation of centrifugal molecular steel is complicated as compared to falling film molecular steel so this is all about molecular distillation Hope you all like my video. If you find it useful, please share it with your colleagues. Thank you.